Hello, my name is Mara Kuslario. I'm a data analyst at BT Provider and uh, Tableau Desktop Specialist. And today uh, we will see how to create a slope chart in uh, Tableau. Um, what is a slope chart and uh, how it helps us to see the data? A uh, slope chart is a visualization that helps us to see uh, the position of a uh, dimension um, depending on a specific measure uh, in a selected period of time. Uh, so, for example, we will see um, how the subcategory uh, evolved uh, during uh, some years from the beginning of the period till the end of the period uh, by their sales. So uh, the first thing is that we already connected to the sample superstore data source offered by Tableau. And we will start by creating a parameter that will be named selected subcategory. This parameter will have a data type of string. Uh, allowable values will be a list that will be fixed and added from the subcategory field. OK, next thing to do is to create a calculated field that will have the uh, name selected. And the formula will be uh, subcategory equals to selected subcategory, which is the parameter that we already created. OK, and we have another calculated field to make that will be named label and will have the formula if selected the calculated field that we uh, just uh, created, then sales and OK. So now that we have all the fields that we are needing, we will start to create the visualization. So the first thing is to drag the order date on the columns. Then we will keep only the first and the last year from the uh, data source. And now I will get the sales on the rows twice, select a dual axis, and select to synchronize axis. OK, I will make the visualization to be entire view to sh uh, see uh, better what we uh, are expecting to uh, see here. So now I'm going in the marks area and select for the first sales to not be a line, but to be a shape visualization. So just the second one will remain a line. OK, uh, now I will go to all in the marks zone and I will drag the selected to the color. And again, I will drag the subcategory to detail because I want to see every subcategory and uh, their evolution. So now you can see that if I show the parameter control, uh, the accessories is highlighted here. But what I actually uh, want to do is to go in the second uh, part of the marks, uh, the sales, the shape one, and to uh, grab the selected and put it on the size and also put it on the shape. And another thing that I would like to have here is the label to be shown so I will see the exact numbers for the selected subcategory. But now I would like to have uh, the selected subcategory in front of others. So what I will actually do, will I will go to the dimension, to the selected um, field, and go to default properties where I will sort them, sorting by manual, and I will um, make the true to be the first now, because I made this, I have to um, recreate the legend. So I will go to the true and at the true, uh, I will make it uh, any color that uh, I want. I will choose purple and the false will be actually a gray. So now I want to make the shapes to be at true a filled circle and to false, I will let it to be uh, an empty circle. 
and now I want to see if I can have here the legend to be shown so uh, okay uh, just one second I will hide this card I will make a little bit larger here and let me see so I don't want to sort them because they're already sorted but I would like to see them again so that just let me uh, try to put it again on the okay in the legends part and I will show the size okay now that we have the size we can go to the edit sizes and uh, select the reverse because I want to see in a bigger picture uh, the selected subcategory. Now I see that my line is uh, crossing uh, my circle, so I would go and move marks to back. I will also go to label because I would like to allow labels to overlap other marks. Also, we'll like to have them in the middle and to be a uh, tableau bold let's say um okay i would like to have them white and now i will go to the label uh, field and select format i will make sure that i'm at pane and uh, at default numbers i will select a custom number with no decimal and uh, display units will be thousands and also a prefix with dollar sign. Okay, so now I can see that um, accessories subcategory is actually uh, going um, from uh, the first year to the final year. It's going up. Their sales uh, has increasing. Now that I know the accessories went well, I would like to see the phones. Okay, so the phones were. Um, almost the best ones but now they are for sure the best ones but we can see that for example the labels are actually almost at the same position so we do not uh, evolve with uh, with them during these years so this is the way you are creating a slope chart in tableau um, thank you for uh, watching and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.